Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back in the kitchen today. So I'm pulling out the refrigerator here. We're just jumping right in because I'm gonna be building a refrigerator surround for the kitchen. This is part one of the cabinet makeover. So that's what I'm doing, just removing some baseboards. And I'm gonna be assembling a surround for the refrigerator. It does not go as planned. Um, so I stay tuned for that, but I wanted to include it just so you can see that DIY does not always go exactly like you think it's going to go and you just have to adjust and keep trying. This kitchen has already changed so much. We demoed the island and rebuilt it. We epoxied countertops. So if you want to see those projects, just make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see like where the kitchen really started from and see how we built the new island. I'll also add a link to that video right here. Oh boy, need some help. What's that? So that was me realizing I'm not nearly as strong as I think I am. And this is me realizing that the cabinet will not stand up because it's hitting the ceiling. Great. So I had to take the cabinet apart and put it in place and reassemble it around the refrigerator. Okay, it's a new day. Yesterday was a really frustrating day of building, but that's okay, that happens sometimes. So today we're going to switch gears. Instead of working on these cabinets first right here, we're gonna shift over to these cabinets. I want to do cabinets right here from um, like stacked on top of each other. So these need to move there, these need to come down. So we have a few things to do before we can get started on that. I'm adding some supports underneath the cabinets so when I remove them, since we found out yesterday that I'm not as strong as I think I am and Brandon was not home this day to help me if the cabinet fell on my head, so I'm adding these supports so when I take one down it'll be a little bit easier and the other one I can unscrew from the wall and just slide over. I didn't feel like just the pocket holes in the MDF were providing enough support for these shelves. So I'm removing them and then I'm just going to screw in some like little support pieces underneath the shelves to hold the weight. I think it might make it a little bit more sturdy. Okay, I picked up this cabinet off of Facebook Marketplace. I thought it was really pretty with the glass. I need to add a couple more shelves to it and I wanna put it up there. 
but I have to modify it to fit the space and there's probably, I want it to go up to the ceiling just like the refrigerator one over there. So that's what we're working on this morning. Okay, this is our trim piece for the front of our refrigerator surround, but I'm trying to think ahead here because we're gonna be doing a, something to the side. So that board is gonna go like this. And so we, I just have a scrap piece of the material that I'm gonna be using for that. So we can line that up. And when we nail this trim piece in, it'll be flush and you won't see any overhang like that hanging out. We've gotten a lot done in the kitchen. We So the cabinet is in and it's extended up to the ceiling and the crown molding has been added to kind of make it look cohesive. With this and the face frame for this has been added, 
Um, we just still have to do the side over there. But what I want to work on first is this kind of dead space right here. And I was thinking about like splitting the difference and just adding trim. But I thought it might be cute if we, if I were to put um, like shelves, just little ones right here. And then we could put like cookbooks in them. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. The wall is not level at all. This board is. So you see how it's up against the wall right there? And then as you go down, there's a big gap. So I had to cut the a board at an angle so it could be level with these other two on the table saw.
That's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. We still have so much more to do in the kitchen. This was just kind of phase, I don't even know, phase two, phase three, um, a part one of the cabinets, I guess. And we still have to paint, we still have to do a vent hood. So all that will be coming up in future videos. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. Bye.